Hello listeners, in this short video I shall introduce some major concepts of macroeconomics like economic growth, inflation and unemployment. We shall start with the issue economic growth. What is economic growth? Economic growth occurs when an economy is able to produce more goods and services for its consumers. Economic growth is usually measured using growth rate. What is growth rate? The growth rate of an economy refers to the percentage change in output or national income over a specified period of time, usually a year. Now, let us look at the formula to measure economic growth of an economy. Growth rate of an economy can be measured using this formula. Here, G is to notify growth rate. Taking the difference of output level of two successive years of an economy and then dividing it by the output level of the last year, we can have the growth rate. We have to multiply it by 100 to express it in percent. Here, Y1 is the output level of period 1 and Y0 is the output level of previous period. For example, for the year of 2015, the growth rate of an economy will be G2015 equals output level of 2015 minus output level of 2014. We have to divide this difference by the output level of 2014. Then multiplying it by 100, we can have the growth rate of 2015. Always keep it in mind that a growth rate is a number. It is unit free. The next issue of macroeconomics that we are going to discuss is inflation. Inflation refers to a sustained increase in the general price level of an economy. During inflationary times, people pay higher prices for the same quantities of goods and services they had before. So, more and more income is needed just to maintain the same standard of living. Let us check the consequences of inflation. When there is inflation, purchasing power of wage of an economy, what we call a real wage rate, falls, due to which it becomes difficult for people to maintain the standard of living as they maintained. Real wage rate can be measured using this formula. Dividing the nominal wage by the general price level of an economy, we can have the real wage rate. We have to multiply it by 100 to express it into percent. Sometimes wages rise faster than prices and sometimes prices rise faster than wages. If wages rise faster than prices, inflation is not a problem as people can maintain even a better living standard. But when prices rise faster than wages, inflation is miserable. Moreover, inflation can redistribute income. Fixed income earners lose their income in terms of real sense during inflation, while borrowers gain. Finally, we shall discuss unemployment. How can we define unemployment? When an able-bodied person who is mentally and physically fit for work and search job but doesn't get any job is called unemployed. Thus, the state of affairs of an able-bodied person who is mentally and physically fit for work and search job but doesn't get any job at the existing wage rate is called unemployment. Let us now check the costs of unemployment. Costs of unemployment are many, but we shall categorize them into two main headings, economic costs and the human and social costs. The economic cost of unemployment is that the economy is deprived from the possible production that could be produced by the unemployed persons if they are employed. And the human and social costs include psychological and even physical disorders, divorces, suicides, crimes, etc. Social harmony may be disturbed due to unemployment. Definitely, unemployment is a problem and macroeconomics pays a great deal of attention to both the causes of and cures for unemployment. Now I think you can easily understand and define the issues that I discussed in this video. Thank you.